Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. Today is Saturday. Saturday is a free day for me, to where I just essentially pick any game and play it. I still wanted to keep with the horror genre. And we've played this game before. I want to say during New Year, New Game. It's a roguelike called 20 Minutes Till Dawn. And it has a spooky, kind of creepy vibe to it. More so than Vampire Savior. I know, the artwork's kind of good. And it's pixelated and dark and just just nice I, I played three hours of it since playing it last year I, I tend to go back to the roguelike games and, and really enjoy like these kind of bullet hell roguelikes is a great pastime so uh, without further ado let's get in the game no idea how well any of this is going to record with uh, this being as loud as it is. see that we have played before and have runes that we can spend to get other characters I believe we've beaten difficulty zero difficulty one two three I think that's how that works when enemies are killed so many spirits spirits chase down near my enemies and deal like damage but how about we just get another character Abby, right click to quickly shoot all of your remaining ammo in a random direction. On every six shot, send out a frost butterfly that periodically freezes nearby enemies. If affected enemies are already frozen, they instead take damage equal to your bullet damage. Luna, when you reload, create a black hole that pulls in nearby enemies. Dasher. Every 10 seconds, temporarily transform into a deer. While in deer form, you are invincible and deal 100 damage to enemies you run over. Deer form's damage is increased by summon damage and move speed. And then Katana. After reloading, summon a magic sword that deals 22 damage and lasts 5 seconds. And then we can't get Haster or Raven. Kind of want to do either Yuki, but Dasher sounds like they'll be fun to play. And these are the weapons that we've used. Let's see the other ones so we can unlock. Grenade launcher, shoot explosive grenades. Grenades explosions can hurt you. A magic bow, shoot out arrow that lingers on the ground. When you reload, arrow returns to you and deals damage to enemies that it passes through. A cyclone sword, during reload, perform a spin attack that continuously deals your bullet damage in an area. And then salvo knife, track enemies as you move, your shots simultaneously shoot towards every tracked enemy. Tracking occurs more often, the faster you move. I think maybe this is going to be the one. I think a standard mode should do so good. And we can go to Darkness 4. So we'll do that. We got Forest, Temple, and Pumpkin Patch. Uh, Temple, I believe, is more difficult. We've done forest. I don't know about pumpkin patch. Here we go. Uh, some 
summon two magic spears that deal damage. Summon a magic lens that give all bullets that pass through it 3% damage in size. Summon a magic scythe that deals 40 damage. Uh, we want summon for sure. We'll do the scythe. Summon damage by 1% every 15 enemies killed. After shooting your last ammo, smite nearby enemies, vision range increase, bullet damage and knockback. that increase my summon damage, I think I'm just gonna take it. Every 500th enemy killed by a summon drops a healing item. friend that rapidly shoots projectiles. It's for bullets, 20% chance to dodge, magic scythe inflicts curse on enemies. Increase curse damage by 15%. Every two seconds, shoot out a gale of wind. Should we get another summony person? We should. Speed plus 20%, your summons have a 30% chance on hit to call down lightning for 22 damage. 
summon an egg that'll hatch into a dragon in three minutes. shoot out snowballs that deal 25% of your dam or of your deer forms damage. Take that. Magic scythe inflicts curse. Bullet damage. Ghost friends projectiles inflict burn for six damage per second and also triggers your on hit effect. Increased by bonus movement speed. Ghost friend shoots one additional projectile. Calling summon attack speed increase. Your summons have a percent chance on hit to instantly kill an enemy. Does not affect bosses. Speed plus 20%, your summons inflict burn on hit for 3 seconds. Let's do that. ammo smite your enemies the magic lens we might do the dragon one or yeah do the magic one. dragon one we did it tome of elasticity it's the other one Tome of Elements increase burn damage, lightning damage, and freeze duration by 35%. Max HP increase all damage by 2 for each max HP that you have. I should do that. damage every 60 seconds this ability works even if your dragon is still in its egg form 
Your dragon gains 10% attack speed every 60 seconds. This ability works even if your dragon's still in its egg form. shield protects you from damage. The holy shield regenerates in two minutes after breaking. Uh, ghost friend. Your summons deal 50 summon damage to nearby enemies every two seconds. Don't you want to look at what else there is? Plus two, increasing our size. I think I might do that. Be a bigger deer. Take out more enemies is a bigger deer. We got our dragon now. And knives, max ammo, boom speed, thick knife, bullet bounces, bullet pierce, cover into bullets, move speed plus 30%, salvo knives, damage is increased by bonus to move speed. I like moving faster. Magic Scythe the damage is increased by bonus to your move speed. Sounds great. Just all the pop. 
popping sounds. Dragon gains plus 10% attack speed every 60 seconds. This ability works even if your dragon's an egg. Uh, doesn't look like we have anything for speed, so I guess we'll do the train dragon. HP by one for every 500 enemies killed with smite. At most, three max HP can be gained this way. I don't know how often I'm using smite though. Kill one HP every 90 seconds, that sounds good. Summon magic spears. Let's get ghost friend all the way. And then maybe we'll do magic spears next if that pops up. Deal additional damage equal 10% of your dragon's damage. Bullet damage plus 10% magic scythe deals an increase by bonus to your bullet damage. Or no. Gain a soul heart. Increase max limit of soul hearts by plus 2. Let's do this one. They want to make my dragon stronger. That's fine by me. Plus 30% spread goes down, but I don't think that really matters much. Do magic spears, let's do magic spears. friend that deals 50% of your form's damage. Let's take it. Every 500th enemy killed by summon drops a soul heart. Bullet steal 10% for each soul heart you currently have. Bullet speed. Magic on every second shot, call down lightning.
plus one, spread plus ten, increase your max HP by one for every 500 enemies killed with smite, at most three max. Magic Spears deal plus ten damage for every max HP you have, very nice. Uh, holy Shield and heal one HP every 90 seconds. I don't know if that counts the soul hearts. Extra damage for every HP you currently hit. Motor rate, fire rate increase. Vision range, all enemies within your vision range take 15 damage every one second. Speed plus 20% by a rate. Yeah, the move speed. By a rate, vision range, double damage glare. Magic Spear gains plus 15 damage every time you gain a soul heart. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's deal 10% damage for each soul heart you currently have. Plus one, spread, 20% dodge, some of the magical lens, bullet damage plus 10%, magic size steal. It's increased to my bonus damage, heal one HP every 90 seconds. Let's do the magic size gaining damage. Tome of Might, increase all damage by 2 for each max HP you have. While damage is increased by bonus to your move speed, damage dealt is decreased by 15%. Uh, let's do this one. So we have things that just keep on increasing us.
Holy shield, heals HP. Magic scythe to do a curse and dodge. I think I'm gonna do the holy shield now. Nature's Blessing, character size plus 50%, move speed plus 30%, summon damage plus 30%. We are giant deer just going and dashing through enemies left and right. More move speed, blazing speed, a big burn on nearby enemies as you run. The effect occurs more often the faster you move. This is great. Fire rate by 75% when you get a hit. Empty the vision. HP by one for every 500 enemies killed with smite. I don't know how often we're using smite, though, is the only problem. Two vision range. The damage from glare also applies the on hit effects of your bullets, which we don't really have any on hit effects. But it just passively deals damage to any enemy that gets close to me. Spread goes down. Lightning. Increase reload rate and move speed by 25% while Holy Shield is active. That sounds like a great idea. damage and fire rate by 70% when you get hit, but we don't really get hit. Dodge, gain a soul heart, increase max limit of soul hearts by plus two. Generates in one minute. Move range, vision range, gain a soul heart. When you lose a soul heart, enemies also lose 80% of their max HP to sound of big boss enemies. Do that just in case we lose the shield. Since now we get a bonus for having the shield on.
calls down lightning. Vision range of the glare. Increase my max HP by one for every 500 enemies killed with smite. Yep, I don't think we're using smite very often. Because it only seems to activate when we run out of bullets. I don't think we run out of bullets that often. Unlocked. Oh, I thought there would be a boss at the end of this. Just surviving 20 minutes and then it stops. We survived. Let's go back to the menu. There we go. That was a crazy, crazy run. We went ahead and we unlocked Raven. Summons a crow that inflicts curse. Curse deals damage equal to 200% of your bullet damage. So there we go. Do we have other things that we can unlock? I think the runes are only for unlocking characters and weapons. And less so for like abilities, increasing our abilities and stuff. And with the amount of synergy that you can get from all the different weapons and abilities just by playing the game. That's, yeah, I guess you really don't need it. And we can just keep on increasing our darkness now, too. So there you have it. That was 20 minutes until dawn. I enjoy these bullet hell roguelike games. I find them to be a great time passer. Like, if I'm just waiting an hour or two, and I just kind of want to pass the time... I put on a roguelike bullet hell. Gets it done, gets it out of here. Gets that uh, enjoyment that I just oh so desire. Anyways, that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Bye.